Hello tennis guys and welcome to my channel. So the new Technifiber TFX1 line version 2 is there and in today's video I will be talking about all of the new things that are coming out with these rackets. So first of all let's talk about it uh, from the point of view from where the racket stands. So the TFX1, I have here the, the check, let's say, uh, catalog info for the insiders let's say so we receive these catalogs or i receive these catalogs from technifiber to really know what's going on what's new and with all the explanations about the series so the tfx1 is a unique power racket that has this exdamp technology that is uh, located in the handle so at the end of the, uh, at the at the end of the handle, there is this 21 gram uh, stainless steel mass that um, really uh, let's say sucks the uh, extensive vibrations that come from a stiff power racket. There is also this elastomer elastomer chamber that has 12 gram that is inserted. There, so you can see it in total it's it's about three, 33 gram of material that is inserted in the in the back of the handle and the very back of the handle and this creates the counter force to the hitting point where you hit the ball in the sweet spot and the vibrations flow through the frame to the handle and this absorbs the extensive vibrations by according to uh, the lab from Technifiber by up to 36 percent compared to the let's say standard non x damp solution that's then that's impressive if you if you uh, consider that most of the let's say similar rackets that we will have the let's say info about the similar rackets uh, somewhere here that come to this uh, let's say category so there is the I will find it let's let's just a little slow down I will find the comparison so there we have it so this record compares of course to pure drives to booms to E zones to ultras so these type of power records so you can expect a thicker beam you can expect a high uh, ra so the tfx1 has ra of 70 pure drive 72 boom 67 e zone 68 ultra 73 so they are all around let's say 70 and i believe that the tfx1 with the 70 is let's say right in the center of the sweet spot of the stiffness so what is really new so the new tfx1 version 2 has remained with the xdam technology and also with the isoflex technology so the isoflex technology is in the uh, flexibility of the of the grommet system and the grommets add to the let's say free power and string movement so it's a quite also unique thing such a small plastic thing with, a, with some perforation so the plastic grommets kind of uh, move uh, more when you hit the ball the strings kind of pull the uh, the isoflex grommets inside of the frame so there is a more elasticity in the strings and that's that's remained that has remained what is new and i will for that reason open the pan because when i have this pan i can show you what i want pretty uh easily so what is completely new is that the frame is has now these parameters so of course they have a mistake here no centimeters guys nope 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 that would be a very very big frame of course so it should be in millimeters of course so 24.5 millimeters there 
25.4 millimeters there and 25 millimeters there before the first generation was all way round 24 millimeters so you can see that there is this increase in thickness of the beam throughout the frame so you can expect even more power and I was really surprised about these rackets. I tested the 285 gram version back in the days and the 300 gram version and the 285 gram version was amazingly super powerful, super stable. It has packed swing weight of 316, 316 at 285 gram frame. Very, very impressive and I was really considering switching to this frame because it was so easy to use, so easy to hit, fast, strong shots, great top spin, and so on and so on. Of course, the precision wasn't really there, but at the, the point when I was testing the racket, I was really amazed, especially on the returns. I was super strong with the frame. So if you want to have a great racket for the, the, the massive returns, this is the one to get so now let's move a little bit uh more in this um in this let's say first talk about the tfx1 so the biggest thing is that they are brightening or they are um they are making this series a lot bigger with new three additions to the line so there is this one guy and this surprised me a lot and i can't really wait to test this racket out i hope i will get the opportunity so 305 gram version with a 98 square inches head size so 630 square centimeters and look at the balance 315 so it will be super maneuverable uh i think this racket will suit many many of the intermediate and advanced players who are really watching or watching looking for great power and also a little bit more precision in their tennis so this racket will compete with the arrow pure arrow 98 for sure in this category but as you can see the balance it will be super maneuverable and I can expect that this will have swing weight of around, let's say, maybe three, 320 or something like that. 320, yeah, 320. Uh, and you can, of course, customize that later. So I can't really wait. So this is the biggest, let's say, this is the biggest news for the new TFX1 line. What is else new there is they don't stop there. They don't stop there. There you can see uh, the competition as I was talking about the pure Aero 98 for this particular model and don't forget about the pure drive 98. So we can see actually what is I didn't I didn't see that before that the new TFX1305 will have a swing weight of 292 unstrung so it is a little bit lower compared to the pure aero 98 and compared to the pure drive 98 so always when you see the unstrung specs add about 30 points to the strung version and if you add 30 points you will end with 322 so i was i was pretty right so this will be a strong swing weight of around 3 22 nice really nice swing weight for the intermediate and advanced players it's it's literally in the sweet spot of my game so this will be this will be a racket really to watch so let's move on what are the new new other versions because technifiber didn't stop there so they are adding to the line the 270 gram version 16 by 19 100 square inches 330 uh, millimeter 
balance so great maneuverability for the lower intermediate players women juniors once again loads of power and then they will have the 255 gram version for the let's say transitioning juniors who are coming from the uh, kids rackets let's say to the adult rackets to the 27 inches length so this is an extremely lightweight racket uh, with an extreme power the balance remained the same 330 and I can see that this racket can be really uh, in the hands of of uh, juniors women maybe some older older players older people so that's a really nice addition to the line so they are adding in total three new models and there will be in total six models so there is the complete package as you can see here so they have the first two 255 and 270 models for young let's say juniors and women then the 275 and the 285 versions are for let's say regular amateurs club players and what is let's say different from all the uh, rackets uh, that this one the 275 gram version has 680 square centimeters head size so it's a 105 uh, square inch head size so larger head for that bigger sweet spot so good for uh, also seniors and let's say uh, doubles players who want to let's say extend the sweet spot and then there is the uh, regular let's say versions for adult um, advanced let's say advanced and also tournament players they are calling it uh, adult uh, tournament players so the 300 gram version and the 305 gram the brand new 305 gram version so look at that six records in the tfx1 line and i believe it really makes sense uh, there is really no new technology there is this new design so there is more of the yellow color so you can distinguish the racket from other rackets from technifiber easily without really um, kind of looking at the frame because all of the rackets uh, from technifiber are mostly white so when you look at them from a distance you kind of don't know what the racket is what is the type of the racket so they are adding more of the yellow color there you can see the isoflex grommets here as you can see as i was talking about so they are perforated on the side so they flex really they kind of go into the frame when the when the strings pull when the strings are in contact with the ball so they are pulled they are sucked into the frame more and that creates the the trampoline effect with more power more spin and what they what they uh, got rid of is the is the weight on the frame so with the first generation they were there was this uh 305 no, sorry the 300 uh number written there on the frame so they sorry so it looked like this so they got rid of it so there is only tfx1 now because actually when you look from the distance you you you, you really don't need to know this so they changed it and you will find the details about the frame on the in the throat section i will see i will see where it is there it is so on the throat section you will find the let's say parameters the basic parameters of the frame so you know what you are holding so look at that there is the overall look uh, i will also look at the tennis warehouse website there is the overall design so beefier a lot beefier frame so you can expect even more power and i can't really wait to test the version 2 because the first generation 
really surprised me how it kind of looked basic when you when you look at the frame when you touch the frame it's an elliptical uh, beam it looks like really the pure drives but it played so easy so well with that in in immense power and stability so that's really something what i'm what i'm kind of a little bit missing when i'm playing with my artingo tr 960 control tour 16 by 19 with a 65 ra flex sometimes i just want to have the free power on the, let's say the returns so i don't have to swing all the time like a madman so guys that's it that was my introduction to the new line of records so there is also the price uh, let's say compositioning but i will not show you that you can you can google it or you can find it on the tennis warehouse website how how expensive or how cheap these rackets are i, I think that the price is pretty competitive uh, nowadays so yeah that's it that's the technifiber TF tfx1 version 2 line of rackets uh, i hope you enjoyed the video if you did you can support my channel by doing three things there is the super thanks option under every one of my videos is the easiest way how to support my channel then there is the buy me a coffee platform and last but not least the paypal option and if you donate me something through these three platforms you can of course ask me a question and if you ask me a question it is guaranteed i will answer the question as fast as i can and as best as i can and that's all for now I hope you have a great day and don't forget to uh, you know, enjoy tennis, play tennis every time, every day and don't forget to enjoy the menu a little bit. Bye guys. You can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious. That ball was on the line.